Inside the box with your Quad Boss blade are going to be all the components that you need to assemble the blade itself. We're working with a 60 inch Quad Boss blade here, but all of the components will be the same for each size blade. Uh, the first thing you'll see is the blade itself, um, a 60 inch Quad Boss blade, the pivot assembly, the wear bar assembly with the pivot shaft attached. Then we've got the skid shoes that'll go on each side of the blade. You've got the adjustment pin for the angle and then the adjustment shaft. These two pieces are going to be the angle mechanism that goes inside the blade. These are the angle braces. Then you've got all the shoulder bolts and the washers that you need, along with the spring shafts and the springs. When you're inserting the pivot shaft into position, a slight bit of grease or lubricant will help it go through correctly. You're gonna insert the pivot shaft in the aligned holes. Cross. On both ends of the shaft, you'll want to install the axle nuts to keep the shaft in position. The next step in installation is to install the sliding angle bars. You want to make sure that when you have both of the bars together that you've got a slot cut at each end and that they're alternating. Stack the bars on top of each other and insert them into the slots on the blade. The next thing that we're going to do is install the angle braces. For the angle braces, you've got the solid black piece of metal, you've got three washers and a shoulder bolt. You're going to use one of the larger washers on the top. The next step is to install the springs. What you're going to need is you're going to need the spring shaft, the spring, the spring retainer, a cotter pin, washer, and nut. The first thing that you want to do is you want to put the spring onto the shaft, install the retainer, and then move over to your blade. Next you're going to insert the shaft onto the blade, add the washer and the nut. You're going to need to use either a socket or a wrench to compress the spring so that you'll be able to insert the bottom of the shaft onto the wear bar. Okay, let's go one more, we'll try it. The next step is to install the blade skids. Remove the pin at the top, insert it into the bottom of the blade, and I'm going to take this piece and repeat it on the other side of the blade. <clears throat> you do have adjustment points on the blade skids. You can use the washers or the rubber spaces on the top if you'd like, any combination to adjust the height to your liking. We've got the assembly done on the straight push tube and now we're going to attach it to the blade.
The next step is to install the universal mount onto the ATV unit. The universal mount consists of three metal plates, which you see here, the two side pieces and then the main middle plate. Then you'll have the U-bolts and the straight bolts also to attach this to the ATV. The optimal mounting position for the universal mounting plate is to position this point on the mounting plate 30 to 34 inches from the bottom of the roller fair lead on your ATV. You want to make sure when you're mounting this piece to the ATV that the flush piece is to the outside. You're going to have a rolled lip on this side that the push tube is going to attach to and you want to make sure that the flat piece is to the bottom of the ATV. On this particular quad you can see that we've used the side rails and mounted them with the U-bolts to the frame of the ATV. Depending on the quad that you're mounting on you can also use the side rails in a different configuration. You could use them vertically like this or you can see we've got them positioned this way on this quad or you could use them in the other direction also. You want to make sure that whatever configuration you use, you've got four distinct mounting points, either on the side rails or on the plate itself, so that you get a good solid mount to the frame of the ATV. There are many different configurations that you can use to make the universal mount work for your quad. Once you've added the final piece of the mounting kit, you'll notice also that there's only to an inch to an inch and a half of ground clearance that is lost from the mounting plate. So if you want to take your push tube and plow off at the end of the season and leave the mounting plate on, the amount of ground clearance that you lose is minimal. To attach your straight push tube to the mounting plate, you want to attach your winch hook to one of the attachment points. Depending on your quad, it may depend on which mounting position you use. When you're ready to latch the push tube into the mounting plate, what you want to do is you want to lift your blade, and then you want to push on the front, and you're intact. To adjust the blade, you pull the pin in the middle, and you've got five different mounting positions. 